we met on the set of the Harry Potter films where we were working where where you were working on dressing a lot of witches and wizards which probably isn't the most normal task in the world for people but I remember the first time we met was at our first costume fitting for the Prisoner of Azkaban <gasps> and I still remember to this day the, the costume that was decided was the ones for the Marauder's Map scene <laughs> my gosh you're so young look at you you I know, baby yeah, I know so, just a bit <laughs> Yeah. I always remember it was the hottest day of the year when we filmed that as well. So we were really happy to be in um, woolly hats and everything inside yes, a soundstage. Yes, but don't you remember that Mama Mama was knitting. Ma Weasley is a great knitter. So she has been knitting those hats for you. That was the idea. And you were looking extremely cute with the pompons. Very cute. So yeah. I, really, I really love that. I really love that. And of course the hood. And the hood that is really the witchy details of you. And then the fact, and that is, if you look at the picture, how strong and powerful and above everything you are, even if you wear those silly hats, you know, your attitude mm. doesn't change. You do have an attitude. Huh? Um, you are wearing a silly hat. Who cares? We are we. Mm. That was great. Yeah. I think unless you've been in a situation, it's hard, it's hard to understand. But definitely the costume does help for myself as, a, as an actor. It definitely helps me feel a lot more in, in role with the character. Yes. And like you said, giving them a bit more, um, he's got like, not, it's not even a rebellious costume, but it's just like a this is who we are kind of costume. Oh, yes. That you, particular one, especially. You wear in, 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 in Hogwarts, you wear the popular guy. Do you know, you are, the kids love you. The kids hmm. look up to you and, and you wear silly hats and they, and they enjoy that. They are expecting you to be different. You know, the kids going from childhood to teenager, it's it's a very difficult time. It's a key time eh? yep. for all of for all of you because you were also puber. All of you were puber. Remember when we were talking about girls? You were all <laughs> giggling like that. Remember? I remember. Mm, mm. When, and oh, the, I and remember. The, I, of course you don't remember, <laughs> but I do. And then and then you had and then you had all this little affair with each other. Who kiss who? who was, remember? <laughs> uh, you, shush, that was, shush, you were really <laughs> puber, and then and then you were puber playing puber with just one year mm. difference to make it a little bit easier. But mm. you were puber. Yeah. I remember that our. Uh, in the fifth movie, our school trousers were from Harrods. I do. <laughs> I remember but that. But at that time, at that time, Harrods had the best department for um, for school uniform because they were selling oh, okay. sc school uniforms. So when I wanted to go and pitch some element, some interesting design department. Uh, design element I was going there and I could pick up different trousers different shape of trousers so I, I guess that's the thing that people don't realise all that detail that goes into it because like a lot of Fred and all the Weasley stuff they were all made to look old and hand-me-downs like the, <laughs> the school gyms had a, had a hole or so in it the gowns the robes always had like they were really battered like I know, how long would I that know. process take take you guys to do long long i mean i remember ron and you because you were the same family you all had mm -hmm. very expensive things that we were beating <laughs> up burning mm. dirty using dying because i always wanted to put a, a fantasy element in it i remember a dolce cabana sweater what you had both of you which was costing a fortune, yep. multiplied yeah. by 10, as everything you had, or six, or, I mean, yeah, for you, five and five, so 10. And then putting it through a, a dirty yellow wash, and then after that, putting holes in it that we repaired, and that sweater, <laughs> you know, already started at 400 pounds, going to 600 or 700 pounds with the work. Your, your, your costume were very expensive because yeah. it's a, you know, like somebody said, it's hard to look so cheap, but it is really very difficult to look. <laughs> <laughs> to have well, shape that nobody else have. It's quite expensive. You were very high uh, maintenance, yeah. the Weasley twins. Is, is there a costume that stands out to you as your personal favourite? I love Beatrix because she's a baddie, and I love baddies. You know, they're much more interesting <laughs> than normal people. Get normal. <laughs> um, she's bad. She's very sexy bad, which we like. And then you, 
in your suit. Your suit were amazing. Because I think the suit were completely fitting in that shop. You know, it was a shop, it was a suit, it was you, everything was like going up. Look at those. I love the W. I love that. Yeah. I love your big yeah. tie like that. I think it's fantastic. You look so cool. I mean, you look brilliant. It's funny, I still remember the design, how it was, let's exa- you were saying, let's exaggerate all the, like the lapels and the shoulders and all that kind of thing. It was... It was such a different experience to what I've ever had having a suit fitting before. So it was, <laughs> it was really fun. Oh, but you were good looking. And look at that. You're brilliant. And in the shop, it's fantastic. But the shop was amazing as well. Remember the shop yeah. with all the little... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. It was probably, I, t- I, think, I still think it was my favorite set to film on. Yes. Just purely because there was so much going on both internal and externally as well. But look at the balcony on the back with that red, yellow, orange. It's exactly the color of your suit. They were, they were really, it was simios, the two of them. It's brilliant. It's really, really, really good. Slam dunk, are you ready?